Hello guys. Today I made this video to help you to configure Freeglot in Coldblox. First of all, you need to download Coldblox MINGW from official site of Coldblox. Here we go. Download the binary release. Coldblox 20.03 Ming GW setup. You can download this and install. Also, you need to download library files of uh, free plot. The link of the website is given in the description. The, uh, the link is in description. You can uh, visit this site from the description and you will be redirected to this site. Now you will download freeglot 3.0.0 ming gw packet. Download the ming gw packet. Here is the link as highlighted. This will uh, download a zipped folder and you can extract this and you will get this. And you can you also have to install code blocks that will be obviously installed in uh, C drive program files and code blocks. Uh, let's pin this in quick access uh, as we need this uh, folder many times so it will be easy if we pin this in code, uh, quick access. Also, let's pin this uh, extracted freeglot folder in quick access. Now, these are the pin ones, so it will be easy. And now, at first, we will go to freeglot include gl and copy these four files. We'll copy this and paste to our core blocks a ming gw ming gw x86. Min GW and x86. Okay, here is at the bottom. Include, <coughs> include, and ZL. Where is ZL? Okay, let's find. Okay, ZL. Okay, you will paste there, and if if it asks asks you to uh, replace any files, you can replace it easily. Uh, no need to think. Uh, and I did this already, so it is asking me to replace. So again, uh, let's go to uh, we'll go to freeglot or uh, the the extracted folder, okay? And we'll go to like lib lib, and we'll go to this. We'll copy this to dot a dot a extension files. We'll copy this, and we'll again go to uh, free freeglot. Uh, oh, sorry, sorry. We'll go to cold blocks. We'll go to cold blocks. Ming GW x86 same as before at LIB and we'll paste that there yeah and replace the files. If it asks you to replace any files, you can do that without thinking, just replace them. After that, we'll go again to freeglot uh lib x64 will copy these two files we'll copy these two and we'll paste them in core blocks mingw x86 same as before lib same as previous step and we'll paste the, these two also here Now we'll go to the extracted folder again. BIN x64. We'll copy this and we'll paste these two uh, windows. Okay, wait. Uh, Section uh, drive C where Windows is installed. Yeah, Windows. We'll paste that here. And if it asks you to replace any 
file you can replace okay easy continue now we will go to cold box share share folder over second here yeah. and templates oh sorry cold box and now we will search templates where is it where is it let me find them. templates okay okay they are yeah templates and you will search glut dot cpp glut dot cpp you will search that okay that's it here yeah. and we will open it with uh, notepad plus plus if you don't have note plus 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 you can download it easily and uh, download uh, notepad plus plus and you can do it do open with and you will see notepad plus plus there edit in notepad plus plus uh, go in search yeah and uh, we'll find go to find uh, replace and find what in find what section we will write uh, glut 32 we'll find glut 32 and replace that with fre glut replace all do replace all and once uh, you replace all you have to uh, save this uh, and it will ask administrator uh, permission you can give that and control s it will do it will be saved easily and after saving you can close Okay, you can again recheck by the way you can recheck from here and free glot will be there before there was a uh, glut32 now there is free glot that's it now we'll go to wizard okay code blocks share code blocks templates wizard okay we are checking the okay here we, is wizard we'll go to wizard we'll go to glut we'll open with okay, open with notepad plus plus or edit with notepad plus plus wizard dot script and we'll do same sorts okay source 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 source, source where there it is source find replace on glt32 we'll find glt32 and replace that with free glot free glot and replace all okay that's all, that's it and you can recheck that by the way uh, by opening the file again but we need to do that once we have done and save it control s save and uh, give administrator uh, permission to now we'll open code blocks we'll open code blocks go to settings settings compiler and we, there is one bar tool chain executables so we'll go there and check whether the location is same or not see program files code blocks mingw is if, if the location is that then compiler's installation directory then you can do okay no need to change if now we'll do new new project and we will see glut project over there yeah glut project select that go and next okay give anything project title anything you want and that's all uh, you can select folder for your project obviously i've selected this new folder 10 and uh, we will go a uh, resulting file name no need to change that and we will go next now we need to configure the glut's location there could be anything like anything let's say D dfs or anything we will configure that we will browse uh, we will go to code blocks 
Now let's find code blocks. Yeah, code blocks. We'll go to code blocks and we'll go to MANZW, MANZW, and x86. We'll select this folder for uh, GLUT's location and we'll do next. And now we can do finish. Double click on main CPP, and this is the main uh, CPP file that we will be dealing with. We'll replace all this. This is the template code provided. We'll uh, we can run this actually. Uh, we can run this to check whether it will work and it is working perfectly. And we'll replace this this template uh, codes and we'll write our program here. Yeah, and that's all. That's all. Thanks for watching. And you can share this with your friends, obviously. And thanks to Birds You for helping me to come up with this video.